Driving under the influence with a child in the car. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Palello. An Anderson Township man is now facing charges tonight after a Good Samaritan forced him to stop to rescue the little girl inside. WLWT News 5's Emily Wood is live for us tonight with the incredible video you will see only on WLWT. Emily. Cherie, 34 year old Troy Morris faces charges of operating a vehicle without control, operating a vehicle while impaired, and child endangering. A witness says he saw Morris driving his car erratically Monday afternoon, 71 northbound near 275, and he decided to take action. Dude, what is your problem? Nothing. Why are you hammering like that? Right. Your kid is in the car. Sean French took this video seconds after he blocked impaired driver Troy Morris from getting back on the highway. French says the blue Ford passed him in the emergency lane on I-71 northbound near 275. French says the driver then hit the wall several times while speeding before driving into the grassy median. He stopped the car. I jumped out of my car, jumped into his car through the window. Through the car and parked, grabbed the key out of the ignition. Get out of the car. He's got a damn baby in the car. He's got a kid in the car. He was definitely not saying a whole lot, didn't realize what his surrounding was, didn't realize there was a baby in the car. Uh, he just had no clue what was going on. Another witness stopped and was able to safely get the little girl out of the car. Oh it's the entire reason French says he decided he to take action. If this was my child that was in danger, I'd want somebody to. To get it to step in and help my child, whatever it took. And I just did whatever it took. Ohio State Highway Patrol says tonight it is still unclear whether it was drugs or alcohol that had Morsh impaired Monday afternoon while driving on the interstate. Reporting live tonight, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. All right, Emily, thank you. Morsh was arrested yesterday and released on his own recognizance in Mason Municipal Court.